What's up, guys? This is Matt Watson, and I'm in Australia, inside my rolling home. Tony the Transporter. They say you get your best sleep in your own bed. If that's the case, then every van dweller you meet should be well rested. But this isn't always necessarily true because that depends on how comfortable you are in the place you've chosen to park. You know that warm and fuzzy feeling that you get whenever you drive past your childhood home? I get that for parking spots. Now, I know the average person doesn't care about free parking as much as a van dweller, uh, unless you're down to the wire in a very competitive game of Monopoly, but this van dweller in particular cares about them even more so, because unlike most people in this lifestyle, when I find a great spot, I tend to stay put, so I know when I've hit the jackpot. So this week, I'm giving a shout out to this amazing Melbourne neighborhood that for months has allowed me to be a part of this city and given me a place to call home, and I can't thank them enough. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? Brickworks Drive is a van lifer's paradise. The people are beyond considerate. The animals are incredibly friendly, for the most part. And it's home to the best wheel estate that I have seen in any country's major city that I have done van life in. A parking spot in this oasis gives you a beautiful backyard to the north in Gilpin Park which has recently endured a makeover and now has a brand new play structure, ping pong tables, barbecues, toilets, and water fountain. And when I tell you that it is in your backyard, it is literally adjacent to a bunch of parking spots. A five minute walk southwest brings you to your nearest booze vendor, grocery store, and a variety of takeout. A seven minute walk east will bring you to your nearest subway stop, which will get you to the core of the city in like 10 minutes. And just beyond that is a charming street called Sydney Road, full of restaurants, local shops, and a public library with bathrooms and tons of places to charge absolutely everything you own. And most importantly, right in the heart of this adorable little crescent, some of the sweetest 24 seven parking you will find in any city for absolutely free. Just before I give you the tour to all of my fellow van dwellers out there who are currently drooling over this neighborhood, if you decide to park here, please treat it with the utmost respect clean up after yourself, do not be obnoxious about your presence, and be kind to your fellow neighbors, because I have friends who live here, and if I find out you were doing otherwise, I will come back and take a poop on your windshield. All right, team, we've arrived in Brickworks, my uh, my neighborhood. This is my this is my local stomping ground, or uh, or parking ground, as, uh, as, as a van lifer would say. Um, so many great parking spots here, all absolutely free. Brickworks, you're the best. Thank you so much for letting me hang out here for, for far way too long. I really appreciate it. You guys, we're the best neighbors. Um, so let's go check out some of these parking spots. This one on the right here is a personal favorite because if there's enough space to fit in there, you don't need to necessarily parallel park. You can come up through this uh, little on-ramp here on the sidewalk briefly and then uh, just sort of slide in behind whatever uh, whatever car happens to be there classic spot um big fan big fan always very comfortable there oh no we got a guy behind us we have to do a lap as we come down this way there's tons of great tons of great spots here spot on the left here that i could squeeze in yeah i could fit in there no problem right here on the right this is uh this is a cool one because uh it's actually uh right beside where i park my bike um, the only disadvantage of parking in this area is that there are neighbors on either side of you. Uh, so just you know, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of people looking in. You know, a lot of people that can look out, notice you, and be like, hey, what's this, what's this van lifer doing? I'm going to let this guy pass me. He seems to be in a hurry. He doesn't want to have any part of this tour. He doesn't... Uh... No! That was the spot I wanted. Don't you dare parallel park there. Ah, oh, no, this is the prime spot. Ugh, that's the spot I wanted. I let this person go and they took the prime spot. Ah, oh, that sucks so much. I was hoping they'd give up on it, but it ain't gonna happen. An idiot can parallel park in there. Even with the auto parallel park. What's great about it is, uh, so, 
the sun in the afternoon gets blocked by these buildings here on the left. And uh, you got the hedge in front of you, which is nice because um, it gives a little bit of privacy. Usually there's nobody walking on the left-hand side. This right side's got, uh, you know, a little bit of traffic, but uh, it moves quick and there's not a ton of windows down this alleyway. So, you know, it's, uh, it's probably my favorite spot. And because I took the time to do this tour, I friggin' missed it. That's okay. That's okay, let's do a lap. Let's do a lap here. Let's see what's going on. All right, so these guys over here used to be my, uh, they used to be my favorite spots. They're beautiful. Tons of great place spaces. Plus you got the, the beautiful park on the right. The only disadvantage is you're gonna be in the sun until it sets unless it's you know a little bit of an overcast day, which isn't as much problem in the winter when you want the heat in here. But in the summer, um, the heat beating on this thing all day. Plus when I close all the curtains and everything, it really, really uh, becomes, a, becomes a hot box back there. Um, the only disadvantage of this strip um, is that uh, you are pretty vulnerable to the neighbors uh, that are on your left hand side. However, I would argue that this area is probably the uh, the least traveled. The least traveled got to be some of my favorite spots right here. Like you're gonna you, you get a lot of you get a lot a lot of bang for your buck, um, which is saying something because you're you're not paying anything to be here. So you're just you're getting you're getting all bang, all bang, no buck. Over here on the left. These are some good spots. Um, you can fit usually four cars right in here. The downside is to this area is um, my uh, a fellow brick workian, uh, Elliot, um, had, uh, had parked around here and a, uh, a truck was going out, went out of control. A transport truck that was stolen, that was stolen um, came flying down this uh, this alleyway here and then into the park and uh, didn't hit a single car along the way except for uh, Elliot's brand new Forester. Unfortunately, I wasn't sleeping in the van on this stretch that evening because that's the least I can do, you know, as I'm uh, hanging out here in the neighborhood. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I'm on the lookout, clearly. The guy in the car is always the lookout and uh, I gotta do my part for you guys. Um, luckily, Elliot's got insurance, his vehicle's fixed and uh, since then, there's been no uh, out of control transport trucks flying through uh, this rather safe neighborhood. Well, that wraps up our tour. Um, let's see, uh, let's pick a spot from, uh, from what's available and uh, settle in. I can't believe that lady took my spot. Come on. Hey, you beautiful person. You may have noticed I got my very first ever sponsor for this YouTube channel, and I couldn't be happier because it's a stainless steel water bottle company called Super Sparrow, because I use this bottle absolutely every day. Because you're a fan of this channel, use code MATT25 to get 25% off absolutely everything on their site. But as far as this video goes, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and send it to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He is hilarious. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next week.